Hey guys, Alex Carey here, going over tomorrow's workout. We're gonna open up, uh, we're doing two rounds of a 100 meter run. So we'll go out for a short run or run around in your square. Uh, and ten alternating lunges, just five per side. Dropping your back knee down to the ground, keeping that chest up, driving through your front heel. We got five push ups next. Hands outside of our chest, elbows nice and tight, chest to the ground, fully lock out those arms. Five dumbbell squats. So you're gonna grab a dumbbell, hold it however you guys want. Um, Carrie's got it in her front rack. Or on your back, whatever works. Three shoulder to overhead each side. So we're gonna hold it on one side, we're gonna dip and drive, you push press or push jerk. And then three dumbbell thrusters each side. So we're gonna squat all the way. Drive it overhead. We'll then do uh, three pull-ups or ring rows. So you can modify it to a bent over row or hop on the rig here or our rings. Two rounds of that, just busting through it. Uh, after that, we're gonna go into our front squat strength. We're in week seven of seven. We're in wave two. We're going heavy. Um, we're basing our percentages off our max plus 10 pounds. That's the intention of our second wave. So our sets are, we'll be doing four pretty much warm up sets as you're progressing of five reps, you'll hit a set of three, and then you're working up to 85% of your max and doing a max set of reps there. So Carrie's gonna show our front squat motion. We're taking these bars from the rack, the bars across our shoulders and chest, three points of contact, shoulder, shoulder, chest. She's working her elbows up as high as she can, keeping her weight back in her heels, her toes are still grounded on the floor, her knees are out, big chest, her butt underneath her body okay uh, so again make sure you're super warm you get enough reps and sets in but at the 85 percent of your max uh, you're doing max reps and again you're adding 10 pounds so say your max is 200 pounds you're basing it off of three uh, 210 pounds today for our at home standard stuff today we're gonna open up with some good mornings we're gonna do 10 good mornings you can hold that in the front of your body the back of your body wherever you guys want to and then dumbbell step ups. So we're gonna hold on to that dumbbell wherever you guys want, on your back or on your side or wherever. Uh, five per leg. And work up and wait as you guys are going through that three to five sets. And then do five sets of five dumbbell front squats or kettlebell front squats. So holding that there or uh, on your shoulder as well works um, with both hands. We'll be doing these dumbbell front squats also in the workout today. So leading us into the workout. Oh, fuzzy chips. Carrie, why'd you name it fuzzy chips? Because <laughs> it's uh, my son's password for school. I oh, thought really? it was funny, yeah. Almost makes me want to gay. <laughs> uh, well, today you guys called fuzzy chips. You got three sections. Nine, 15, 21 to open up. Single arm dumbbell thrusters. So that's nine total. So if you want to just bust out nine on one side, go for it. But throughout these rounds and reps, Definitely even it out um, on each side as best as possible. Pull-ups next in the gym or at home if you have a rig, otherwise dumbbell rows. Um, keep that a moderate weight. So nine of each, 15 of each, 21 of each. Next section, we're going back down, 21, 15, nine. Single arm dumbbell front squats. So again, that's total reps. So if you wanna hold it on one side, for those reps and then switch for the next set or just again even that out as best as you guys can. 21, 15, 9. That's pairing with pistol squats. So single leg squat. Carrie's doing that with just holding onto her foot, not assisted. You can do it onto a box. Uh, there's many, many ways to modify. You can put a band across the rig where a barbell would go. Lots of different options. You do want to keep that heel down and that chest up, that body tight. We don't want to drop into our toes. Um, yeah, an awesome modification too is doing it from a box. So that brings your ground level lower. So it gives you that ability to have tight hamstrings to get low. That's section two. Third section, going from nine back up again. We got single arm, dumbbell, shoulder to overhead. So think push press or push jerk. And then alternating dumbbell lunges. Now these will just even themselves out because you're alternating um, legs each rep. So nines, 15s, 21s, time. 15 minute time cap. You get through it in seven minutes. If you're Mike Salvage, you went too light probably, okay? So make sure it's a moderate to heavier weight, but still safe, you're still able to move through it and not resting too much. 
okay? Check the modifications. Uh, I wanna see you guys in here. Um, every given day, it's like busy, kind of not as busy back and forth. And uh, same with classes, like our 9.30's been, been pretty busy, today wasn't as busy. So definitely check the schedule. If you guys aren't using the app, download the Pike 13 app and use that for, for enrolling in class. People are liking it a lot. It shows how full, how full class is, if there's a wait list, um, all that stuff. So way more user friendly than the website. So download that. If you have any friends or family that, that wanna join or check out CrossFit or our gym, uh, we have a referral program. If you refer someone and they sign up after a month, 50 bucks back to you. We love you guys. Carrie, any last words? Uh, do not eat the chips if they're fuzzy. It's disgusting. Good for your immune system, maybe, but. Bye, guys. Love you.